Berlin is inclined to allow Ukraine to hit Russia with German weapons. The German government is cautiously backing away from its reservations about allowing Ukraine to attack military targets on Russian territory with supplied weapons. Politico recalls that Chancellor Olaf Scholz said that Ukraine could use weapons supplied by Germany within the framework of international law which would allow them to be used against an aggressor such as Russia. It is noted that this was not as clear as in other countries on this topic. Berlin moved to clear up confusion about what Scholz means. Scholz's spokesman, Stefan Hebestreit, told reporters that Ukraine's defensive actions are not limited to its own territory and can extend to the territory of the aggressor. At the same time, he emphasized that he could not disclose the exact agreements with Kiev on the use of German weapons since they are confidential. Heber Street further argued that Scholz's statement from a year ago in which he said there was a consensus that Ukraine would not use German weapons on Russian soil was a statement of fact that was correct at the time but not necessarily applicable to the future. A person familiar with the German government's position also said Scholz favored allowing Western weapons to be used against targets inside Russia without elaborating. It seems strange to me, Scholz told, when some people debate and say that Ukrainians are not allowed to defend themselves and take appropriate measures for this. The Allies are responding to pressure from Kyiv to explicitly allow Ukraine to hit targets inside Russia with Western weapons to stop the counter-offensive and bombing of Moscow. French President Emmanuel Macron, speaking alongside Scholz on Tuesday, said, We must allow the Ukrainians to neutralize military sites from which missiles are launched, but not other civilian or military targets. Other countries leave even less ambiguity. Polish weapons supplied to Ukraine have no restrictions. Ukrainians can use them at their own discretion, said Deputy Defense Minister Cezar Tomczyk. Giant hole in radar coverage in Russia after the Ukrainian strikes. Over the past couple of months, Ukraine has disabled three of Russia's strategic radar systems. Recently, Ukrainians hit the Voronezh M radar of the Russian armed forces at a distance of one 800 kilometers, breaking the next record for attack range. Three conclusions can be drawn from what is happening, says Ukrainian military journalist Sergei Oslender. First, the attack on the Voronezh M was proof that Ukraine really managed to increase the range of its UAVs to 2,000 kilometers. The stations that were hit could not fix the drones as they are designed to detect targets at a higher altitude. The second conclusion is that Ukraine blinds the Russian army, depriving it of the ability to record missile launches from important areas for it. The south and southeast direction is now blind. There is a huge radar hole thousands of kilometers away, the journalist said. He specified that the radar station in Amavir struck by Ukrainian UAVs scanned a very large part of the territories in the eastern Mediterranean up to the coast of Morocco. There are American aircraft carriers that are there permanently. In the event of a military clash, Russia will no longer be able to track the potential launch of missiles from this direction by the Americans in the early stages. The third conclusion is that Ukraine has begun to raise the stakes in the war with Russia. 
The Ukrainians cannot deliver either a nuclear or a massive strike on Russia, which means that these raids are coordinated with the Allies. Crossing the red lines, what will you do now? Well, Medvedev will write a post or Rogozin will threaten. But what are their real abilities? Oslander shared his opinion.